Okay, on the last video, you solved systems of equations where one equation was already solved for a variable. What we're going to do today is look at systems that may not be solved for a variable. So before we do that, let's take a look at this equation, x plus 2y equals 11. And let's first solve it for y. So I'm going to get... Um, y by itself. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I've got 2y equals negative uh, x plus 11. And then I'm going to divide everything by 2. That's going to give me y equals negative 1 half x plus 11 halves. Or I could change that into an improper fraction, or I mean to a mixed number. All right, uh, notice it's, it's kind of some ugly fractions there. Now let's solve this for x. This time, I'm going to get rid of my y term by subtracting 2y from both sides. And I'm going to get x equals negative 2y plus 11. Whoa, quite a bit easier. It only took me one step, and I ended up with some pretty nice numbers. So I want you to remember this. When you are looking for an equation to rewrite to solve for a variable, always try to pick an easy one. Make it easy on yourself. Solve systems using substitution when one equation is not already solved for a variable. Our first step in the last video was to find an equation that was solved for a variable. Well, if you don't have one that's already solved for a variable, then you have to solve one of the equations for a variable. And I want you to do make sure that you are picking the easiest one. The one that we looked at right here, we've got 4x plus 6y equals 4, and x minus 2y equals negative 6. What I'm looking for is a variable that's by itself, that has no numbers around it. If I can find that, I'm going to solve for that one. So probably this particular one, I would solve this one for x. I would say plus 2y plus 2y Bam, done. X equals 2y minus 6. All of the other ones, it's going to take me more steps, and I'm going to get some pretty ugly fractions. Then, once I've solved an equation for a variable, I'm going to do exactly what I did on the last video. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now, this is the equation or the system that we were just dealing with and we already found that if we rewrote if we wrote this second equation rewrote it for and solve for x it would be easy so now we have an expression that is x So I'm going to take this expression that is x, and I'm going to put it right here in the second equation where x is. I'm going to substitute it. I'm going to throw x away and put that in. So I'm going to say 4 times. Now notice I'm using parentheses again because I have an expression, and I've got to take that 4 times everything that is x. So both the 2y and the negative 6. So I have to use parentheses there. And then I'm just going to pick up the rest of my equation here. And the first thing I'm going to have to do here is distribute. So I get 8y minus 24 plus 6y equals 4. Now I'm going to combine like terms. And I get 14y minus 24 equals 4. And now this is a two-step equation you know how to solve. Now remember, your answer to a system of equation is an ordered pair. So I think up here, I'm going to go ahead and start my ordered pair. I know my y value now. It is 2. I just have to find my x value. So, I'm going to take this 2, and I'm going to substitute it into, notice I when I rewrote this for y, or for x, 
I've already got it solved for x, so I could put it right there where that y is and solve for x pretty easily. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use this equation, x equals 2 times, but this time I'm going to throw away my y, and I'm going to substitute my value for y, which is 2, into this equation. And I'm going to bring down the rest of my equation, and I'm going to use my calculator. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So now I'm going to put that in as my x value of my answer. There's my answer to this system, negative 2, 2. Okay, so I just want to recap here. The very first thing we did, I'm going to call it A, is we solved an equation for a variable. Then we took that expression and we put it into the other equation and solved. Then we took that answer and put it back into our first equation and solved. All right, let's try another one. Let's take a look at these two systems of equations. Or these two equations in the system is what I should say. Since neither one of the equations is solved for a variable, I have to figure out which one I want to solve for which variable. Well, um, I'm looking here and I think I'm going to solve this one, the first one here, for x. And here's my thinking. I could solve this one for x, the second one for x, but then I'd have negative 2y on this side. If I solve this one for x, I'm going to add y to both sides and I'm going to get rid of that negative. So honestly, I could do either one, but I think I'm going to solve this first one for x. And I'm going to do that by adding x or y to the side and adding y to this side. So always take a moment and think about it before you get going and say what's going to be easier in the long run. So now I've got x equals y plus 3 and x plus 2y equals negative 6. Now I'm going to take this expression 4x, and I'm going to put it right there where that x is. So I'm going to throw that x away and put y plus 3. And then I'm going to pick up the rest of this equation. Plus 2y equals negative 6. Now I've got some like terms. I'm going to call that one at y that I can combine 1y and 2y is 3y plus 3 equals negative 6 and I have a two-step equation I know how to solve. So I get y equals negative 3. Now again remember that my solution to a system is an ordered pair, an x and a y value. I found my y value so I'm going to go ahead and start my ordered pair up here. And then to find my x value, I'm going to take this number and I'm going to put it right in that equation. Now, as you can see, organization is huge when it comes to solving a system. If you keep your work organized, it's pretty easy to follow. So x equals, I'm going to throw my y away, I'm going to put a negative 3 in there, plus 3. And that gives me that x equals 0. So my x value is 0, my y value is negative 3. That is the answer to this system of equations. Now, you have two pretty good examples under your belt. What I would like you to do is go to this. Oops, that didn't work well, did it? Hmm. Don't know what I did there. I want you to go to this next one. Well, fiddle dee dee. Hang on. Sorry about this. There. Let's try it this way. I would like you to go to this system of equation and solve it. So pause your video now and solve this system. Remember 
that you have to first solve one of your equations for a variable. So pick something easy for you. Now pause the video and do your work. Now I need you to check your answer against mine. I got negative 1, negative 4. Check your work against mine. The easiest thing to solve for was the second equation solving for x. Now you could have solved for any of the variables in either of the equations and with you know diligence could have gotten the exact same answer. But this would have been the easiest way to do it. All right, I think you are ready for 39B practice.